Mike Moore Media, the first place to hear Rockingham County news and information. Our program is sponsored by Cone Health and today's Annie Penn Hospital. So advanced is so close to home. ConeHealth.com. Rockingham County COVID-19 update. 43 lab confirmed cases, 3 hospitalized, 34 recovered, 2 deaths, 4 asymptomatic. Cone Health is beginning to reinstate some non-essential services and procedures at six of its facilities, including Moses Cone and Wesley Long Surgery Centers and Wesley Long Main Operating Room. Visitor restrictions and precautions, such as wearing masks and being screened upon entry for COVID-19 symptoms, still apply. Here's a report on the Mayadan Town Council meeting Tuesday. Churches will be allowed to use loudspeakers in their parking lots for outdoor services for at least three weeks during phase one of the governor's COVID-19 guidelines, with the stipulation to use moderate volume levels and be respectful of neighbors. Council approved the sale of property in the 300 block of North 3rd Avenue to Kenneth Caton for $29,500. It will be divided into building lots. Loy Grading and Tree Services in Reedsville received the contract to construct a retaining wall adjacent to the police department parking lot for $6,500. In other business, sewer line repairs in the 800 block of Main Street have been completed. Two grants, totaling about $25,000, will be used to pay for a Washington Mills Park master plan. And the proposal to construct a columbarium at the Municipal Cemetery in Mayadan has been delayed until the next budget year. An obituary for Carolyn Mosley Walker of Madison has been released by Blakely Funeral Home in Gaffney, South Carolina. She died May 4th with her husband, Dr. William Walker, at their home on Decatur Street and the town's first murder-suicide. They were 86. She was a graduate of Gaffney High School and retired as manager of insurance and retirement from Exxon Oil Company. Private graveside services are being held for the family. In lieu of flowers, memorials may be made to Meals on Wheels in Gaffney. City Funeral Home in Reedsville is in charge of arrangements for Dr. Walker, a longtime dentist in western Rockingham County. The Rockingham County Sheriff's Office is asking the public's help in a residential break-in last Friday at 145 Carlton Drive in Stokesdale. A safe was forced open and several firearms taken. Anyone with information is asked to call the Sheriff's Office or Crime Stoppers. Lanes Delivers. Lanes Family Pharmacy delivers countywide. Your prescriptions and other items. Call 336-627-4600. Lanes delivers great customer service. The Lanes family appreciates your business. Lanes delivers to ADTS, Aging Disability and Transit Services of Rockingham County, for their many in-home clients. Trusted, dependable, friendly, professional. That's what Lanes is all about. Lane's Family Pharmacy and Home Health Care, NC14 Eden. For delivery countywide, call 336-627-4600. Unhappy with your current drugstore? Make the Lane's change. It's easy, and you get a free thank you gift when you switch. The number again, 336-627-4600. Now, Rockingham County weather today, a chance of early morning showers, then partly sunny, high 66. Thursday and Friday, mostly sunny, high 79 and 84. For the weekend, a 30 to 40 percent chance of showers, high Saturday, 88, Sunday, 84. Monday, a 60 percent chance of rain, high 83. Get current weather information anytime at MikeMoore.media, along with Rocking Cam, our live stream weather camera. That's sponsored by Heat and Air Controllers.
for year-round comfort, whatever the weather. Need a tow? Dave's Towing is a call away 24 hours a day at this number, 336-932-7478. Quicken Loans presents the Sports Flash, driven by Jeep on Mike Moore Media. ESPN's reporting that the NBA Players Union has polled the players about whether or not they want to return this season. Meanwhile, the Players Association says it hasn't authorized any formal poll of players about resuming. Either way, ESPN's Adrian Wojnarowski says it'll be tough for players to come up with a decision until they see an actual plan. You're seeing in baseball, players are presented a plan. Here's what we're doing. Here's how we're going to do it. And then they can make a decision off that. That's yet to happen in the NBA. They're not as far down the road um, and, and moving toward a return to play. And and so I think as the players get a clear picture of what Adam Silver and, and uh, ownership's vision is. Major League Baseball and the Players Association met on Tuesday. Talks expected to continue. The league did not make an economic proposal to the Players Association in regards to starting the season. No monthly payments for 90 days. 0% APR for 84 months. Details at Jeep.com. That's your Sports Flash driven by Jeep. Chuck Sanders, Mike Moore Media. Hi, I'm Jay Farner, CEO of Quicken Loans and Rocket Mortgage. During the challenging times we're all experiencing, our top priority is the health and safety of the communities we serve. And while it's true that things are changing rapidly every day, one thing that'll never change is our commitment to giving you the best mortgage experience. At Rocket Mortgage, our guiding philosophy of every client, every time, no exceptions, no excuses, exists for times like right now. We understand that hardships may arise, and we're prepared to help. If you currently work with us and need assistance with your mortgage, contact us 24-7 at rocketmortgage.com. As we all think about ways to save money, let me remind you that mortgage rates are near historic lows. If you think right now is the right time to refinance your mortgage, our home loan experts are available to help you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at rocketmortgage.com. Call for cost information and conditions. Equal housing lender. License in all 50 states. And MLSconsumeraccess.org, number 3030. In our business spotlight today, Aleph Behavioral. First in addiction treatment therapy, offering an easy and pain-free approach to opioid abuse recovery. Aleph, A-L-E-F. NC 14, Reedsville. Now today's community calendar. Announcements are made free. Triad Goodwill face-to-face virtual job fair today with hourly sessions at 10, 11, 12, and 1 at triadgoodwill.org. Mount Jubilee Ministries Zoom webinar on special needs planning Saturday morning at 9. Details at mountjubilee.org. Rockingham County Pregnancy Care Center Annual Black Tie and Blue Jeans Auction Online, May 22nd through 31st. Complete details at rpccares.com. ADTS, Aging Disability and Transit Services of Rockingham County, has a coronavirus helpline for seniors, 336-347-9230. Summer Day Camp at the Madison Mayadan Recreation Department, June 15th through 19th and July 13th through 17th, 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. for kids completing kindergarten through fifth grade. Call to register. Have an item for the community calendar? Text it to 336-932-1881. Email rockinghamcountync at gmail.com. Now, today's Consumer Report. Some consumers may see lower electricity rates in the days ahead. Utility companies around the country have seen demand for electricity fall because of empty office buildings. Some companies are passing the savings on to their customers in the form of lower rates. Richard Cordray, former director of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, says Congress needs to do more than provide financial aid to consumers impacted by the coronavirus. Cordray says consumers need stronger protections from debt collectors that he predicts will become much more aggressive. PepsiCo is adapting to the coronavirus trend of consumers getting their food delivered to their homes. The food and beverage giant has launched two web portals, PantryShop.com and Snacks.com, where consumers can order food and snacks directly and have them delivered. The company says most orders from both sites will arrive within two business days. 
I'm Mark Huffman. Learn more at ConsumerAffairs.com. All righty, let's see what we're celebrating today. It's National Receptionists Day. It's National Crouton Day. National Third Shift Workers Day. National Frog Jumping Day. And National Apple Pie Day. Oh, one of my all-time favorites. I do love a good apple pie. Maybe Annette will bake one today. Probably not. Uh, Let's see. Oh, it's National Fruit Cocktail Day. That's what we'll probably do for supper today. Sprinkle some croutons on that. There's the meal. (laughs) Today in history, 1607, an expedition arrived at Jamestown, Virginia, the first permanent settlement English colony in America. 1821, the first practical printing press was patented in the United States by Samuel Rust. 1918, the first airmail postage stamps were issued, six 16 and 24 cent stamps. 1966, close to home, Hardee's opened at 326 West Washington Street in Leakesville with 15 cent hamburgers. 1982, the Chicago Cubs became the first major league baseball team to win 8,000 games. Big name birthdays, Stevie Wonder, 69, Dennis Rodman, 58, Stephen Colbert, 55, Darius Rucker, 53, Harvey Keitel, 80, Sam Anderson, 74, Buck Taylor, 81, and today's bell ringer birthday, Ricky Vaughn in Mayadan. Happy birthday to Ricky. Have a birthday coming up? Text it to 336 Nine three two eighteen eighty one. I'll be glad to announce it. In our music spotlight, we remember Richie Valens, born May thirteenth, nineteen forty one, died February third, nineteen fifty nine, at age seventeen in a plane crash, just eight months into his recording career. Richie Valens in our music spotlight. Rockingham County today is sponsored by Cone Health. We're with you. ConeHealth.com. Let's finish with our motivational moment. Oh, this is nice. Happiness held is the seed. Happiness shared is the flower. That's our program. Thank you for tuning in. Make it a wonderful Wednesday, friends. And remember to count your blessings.